All right, guys, welcome back to EMC. Today, we got a special car. I'm in the MC20 Maserati. It's a V6 twin turbo, mid-engine that produces 621 horsepower. It's loud as hell and uh, it pulls. Whoa! Okay, so I'm supposed to meet Sonny at the beach and oh, there he is. Look at who's in the rear view mirror. What is that? I'm in the Gorkale Trofeo. Wait, do these have the same engine? Yes, sir. We got the same engine. Okay. Hey. You know what that means. Should we go? Two, we're yeah. going. One, two, three, go. Ah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. I am in the Gorkale Trofeo, and Ryan is in the MC20. It has the same engine. Let's go check out these two cars, but in particular, let's check out the Gorkale Trofeo, because this is badass. Yo, what's up, dude? It is hot. It Holy is really hot. Crap. We got two smoking hot cars behind us. This makes it even hotter. Look at this thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just, oh my God. Dude. Beautiful car, all right? I gotta say, this is our first time looking at Maseratis on EMC. And we're pulling out the big dogs. Yeah. The big dogs, all right? Right, these, it's like lightning and thunder. Yeah, exactly. Right, it's like Ryan and Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. anyways, I just gotta say myself, Maseratis make the most beautifully designed cars and they're just sexy, all right? They're just pure sex. And Ryan got to drive the MC20, man. Talk about it. We just saw MC Lila. You know what I'm saying? But uh, all right. So I think uh, this car is just beautiful to look at. Look at this thing. It's the doors go up. I mean, it is a V6 twin turbo generating 621 horsepower. Uh, it does zero to 60 in like 2.8 seconds. Woo! That, you know what? Like I didn't believe it until I drove it. It almost gives you like a donkey kick. Like when you like smash it, right? Uh, it's pretty fucking fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, beautiful car, nice interior. Um, the paint. The paint wow. is, I mean, when the sun hits it, it almost has like a little purple in it. Yeah, that's, dude, you, that's, you guys see that? Yeah. Maserati paint. That purple? Oh, I don't know if it shows up on the camera. But what's cool about today's review is actually the Gracale Trofeo has the exact same engine in the smaller SUV. All right, this is the everyday midsize SUV. It is really, really fast. This one has 530 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque. It's a detuned version of the MC20 engine. V6, twin turbo. So this is called the Netuno engine. Which stands for Neptune because of the Trident, because of, you know, Maserati, right? So yeah. it's kind of cool. Maserati paint is always really special. They got a bunch of sparkles, glittery things going on, and it's just shiny. It's beautiful. The headlights, as you can tell, Maserati badges, logos inside. There's different texture inside. These LEDs, they look really, really sick. The front bumper is definitely more aggressive than the regular Gokale's. It's got this front chin, full carbon fiber, big Trident logos, all black grills, big mouth, and the honeycomb shapes all inside here and at the side vents. And if you go around the side, Trofeo logo red lines all over it and you can tell with the trofeo extra special sportier. extra spicy extra sportier version now you have the side skirts all in carbon fiber as well the door handles are pretty cool you kind of just put your fingers in here touch it and it comes out the rare trident has two red lines this means trofeo this is their sporty version wheels come standard in 21 inch Obviously it can go bigger, maybe with some EMC wheels on it, 22s or 23s. Make it fat, make it sexy, but the rear, it's got a nice trunk wing and the rear diffuser, all carbon fiber. And the tailpipes, these are actually pretty cool. Twin on each side, but kind of designed together. And if you guys just come around with the side profile view, you know, this car, the proportions, 
it's just beautiful. You know, it's just right. Everything about this car, I think, is designed beautifully. And for the price point, man, you know, it sits just right. Around six mil NTD, there's a lot of competitors above it and below it, but for this car to have the MC20 engine, Jesus. So let's look at the beating heart of this beast. Well, it's really hot today. Oh, there it is. Woo! Ooh. There it is. Powered by Netuno. Yeah, Netuno right there. Okay, so mechanically, it's the exact same thing as the MC20. That's what we've been told. So theoretically, uh, I think it's probably only detuned through the ECU. I'm guessing it's just the bars. It's probably boosting like one bar instead of like 1.2 or 1.3 or 1.4, something like that. So if you guys wanted this to have the same output as that, it's probably an easy fix. I think we should test drive it. Yeah, let's. We gotta experience the interior. Let's stop talking. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's stop talking. Let's see how this car performs. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. All right. So, okay. Andiamo. Let's go. Andiamo. All right. This interior is a big upgrade from the Levante. Have you ever been in a Levante? Uh, I have. My neighbor has like a wide body one, a blue one. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, wide body. Yeah, he has a wide body one. Uh -huh. uh, but um, yeah, I think a big ass screens, uh, multiple display. It's clock. It's clock. Oh, it's digital. It's digital. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, this car is, it's nice and nice car. It's definitely yeah. a nice car. Uh, is this, this is it's like a carbon, carbon weave. Fiber, carbon fiber weave. It's like yeah. carbon fiber weave. This texture. Right? Yeah. And uh, this sonar Faber stereo system looks pretty badass. How oh, does it sound? I, I'm not sure. We can do that later. You know what? Drive mode. Let's sport. Let's go Corsa. Let's, let's, let's do it. I'm just gonna watch it. Oh. Actually, if you're sitting in a comfortable I'm position, I'm in like a I'm in like a normal driving position. Okay. I still have like a ton of legroom. I still have like three inches. Oh, that sounds bad. Uh, you do have three inches. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first impressions is that. Oh yeah. See. Yeah. It, it does have pull. It does have pull. It does have pull. Hey, for a mid-size, this is over 500 horsepower, man. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I wonder how much this car weighs. It's got to be over like 2.2, 2.3. I'm going to try it, man. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So it sounds really good in the rear. Like, I can hear the exhaust a lot more than I was sitting, compared to when I was sitting in the front. Let's go smash. I like the heads-up display. Yeah. Oh, it is pretty fast. Oh, oh. The brick, okay, the brakes are pretty good too. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good for steel brakes. You know, these guys are gonna race us. Yeah. Maybe we should race them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I'm actually liking this because this is actually more comfortable than I thought. And when I sat in the Levante a while back, I. It's kind of like, I, I felt a little smaller than this. I don't know why, this feels a little bit bigger than the Levante. It's weird. This is nice, yeah, the buttons and everything. It's nice. Go, here we go. Woo! Shit, shit, dude. All right, hey, calm down, calm down. This is a test car. Oh shit, that's pretty fucking quick. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is a demo <laughs> car, it's a pre-production car. Uh, did you just shit my pants? 
<laughs> who's got the thumbs up? Yeah, who's got the thumbs up? <laughs> They're like, holy shit, that yeah, SUV guys. just took off on yeah. us. <laughs> Uh, guys, that's why I said Ryan is crazy. That's why I have this seatbelt on. All right, ready. Okay. Let's go, Maverick. Yeah. Oh, wow, 4.7. That's a good start. Dude, 4.7 is, uh, and we're kind of going uphill a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so it's, like, it's like a solid four second car. Four yeah. second. You know, I, think 60. We, I think it'll probably be a sub 4.5. Yeah, I mean, we got three people in the car too, yeah. right? So, yeah, and we were kind of going uphill. You were kind of going uphill. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think it, it's, uh, maybe it's like a low four second. It's like a, it's very, very capable. I mean, uh, yeah, that was tall enough, right? right? Very steady, linear power, right? It just keeps going. So, this is what it looks like with the full panoramic roof. You know, all the way slid back. Yeah, you got plenty of leg room. Yeah, back I got there. plenty of leg room, man. So with these big old thick chairs, look at how thick these chairs are. Oh, yeah, gosh. that's why I said it's very supple. I want to. Okay, I want to try something. It's... Sonny's, Sonny's terrified of this. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Sonny's terrified of this. Oh, what are you doing? I use this all the time. No, <laughs> I don't trust these machines and robots, man. They're actually pretty good. See, it's turning. It's turning. It's turning. What? See, that's okay. I need to make it go faster, though. Oh no, keep your hands on the no, steering no, wheel. No, 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 this is this is it's driving itself. It's the lane thingy. I use this all the time when I'm in the tunnel going to a show. So, Sonny doesn't like this. I, 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 I don't know, man. This, the the guy is, that's in NFTs is, I, is afraid of technology. <laughs> I'm afraid of technology that I can't control. Okay, so let's let's see what it does on this turn right here. Uh -oh. You better keep your hands yeah, close yeah, yeah. to the steering wheel. Yeah, 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 it's close, it's close, it's close. So, so let's see what it does. Oh, wow. That's, that's all oh, it's it. turning. Yeah, that, that's all him, dude. It is turning. That's all him. That's all him. Woo! See? Okay, yeah. it does work. It does work. Okay, let, okay. yeah, wow. and then if you don't, if you, yeah, if you keep your hands off for too long, it'll kind of wow. just like jump out of it, right? Okay, I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed, but can we go back to uh, normal manual, driving mode? Okay, yeah, fine. Mode, I'll turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys can tell, this is a super mid-sized SUV and it's in a class of its own. I mean, it's got the full package, bro. Yeah. And with a crazy driver like Ryan, I mean, yeah, I'm not that crazy. Dude, not that tell crazy. them about how you feel, man. From my perspective is uh, I got to get behind the wheel of this for a little bit. Obviously, it's, a, it's not as fast as the MC20, but I swear to you, it is fast enough and it is everything you ever need in a mid-size SUV. All right. I sat in the back for a little while too while he was driving. You can tell it's totally luxurious, supple, and it's actually quite big. Surprisingly, it felt bigger than their big brother SUV. And I think that matters because especially if you have family. More importantly, I felt secure. That's something that people forget to talk about. Go order one and try the drag race mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. favorite part of the car. Obviously so awesome. you guys, you know, can tell that we had a lot of fun. But what I was trying to say is that whether you're in the driver's seat or the passenger seat or in the rear seats, I felt really good. I felt secure. And I actually really do think that it's in a class of its own, especially for the price point. You know, if we ever really get our hands on one, we're gonna make it really, really special. But I just wanted to say thank you to Maserati Taiwan for lending us this car. And you know what, I had a great time with it. It surpassed all of my expectations and we hope you guys really like this car as well as this vlog. So keep supporting us, hit that like button, comment, share with all your friends, and we'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace.